Okay, so the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how I want you to um, convert your test, your handwritten test, into a PDF so that you can send it back to me and I can grade it efficiently. I do not want and will not accept just pictures that you've sent and, you know, if you've got five pages and you've taken five pictures, I will not accept five separate images inside an email um, just because of the logistics of making sure that they're all graded and attached to the right person. It's a nightmare. Okay, so this is what I want you to do. Um, <clears throat> first thing you do, you're going to uh, somehow, you're going to take pictures of your uh, test. You've done it by hand. Okay, now you don't have to print out the test uh, when it gets sent to you. Uh, you can do the work on regular notebook paper or computer paper. Just label things. Make sure I know which problem is number one, which one's number two. Make sure you circle your answers. Um, then you're going to take a picture of each page okay, of work that you have. Um, if you have a different way of getting your work to a PDF other than what I'm going to show you, that's fine. I know some people use the iPhone. It has the Notes app, and it will allow you to scan um, inside that app and it automatically changes it to a PDF and merges it into one PDF and multiple pictures into one PDF and you can then email that uh, right to me. That's a convenient way of doing it um, but if you don't have an iPhone uh, or you don't have that ability um, this is the, the the strategy that I want you to use. Okay, So you're going to take pictures and you're going to get them to your computer somehow. Okay, The way I've done this I've just taken pictures on my phone and I've emailed them uh, to myself. So if using email, um, I'll go ahead and demonstrate how I want you to do this. Uh, so in my e email or your email, uh, it's going to show basically each picture. Okay, so I need to uh, download those pictures. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the picture, uh, and it gives me this option here to download. So I'm going to download that. Now when I download it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, just put that onto my desktop. Okay. Um, once it's onto my desktop, I'm going to go back to uh, the email and I'm going to get to the next picture. There's a couple different ways you can get to it. Get to the next picture. I'm just going to click this arrow to get to the next picture and I'll download that one. Put it on my screen, on my desktop. Um, and then I'll go to the next one. I'm going to download it, put it on my desktop. Okay, so you do this for however many pages that you have. Do one more, download it. And then now those four are on my desktop. Okay. Um, like I said, there's other ways of getting it from your handwritten work to uh, your desktop, but they're going to be. Uh, however you took pictures of them, they're going to be a JPEG, okay, or um, most likely a JPEG. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to um, this website here, okay, jpeg2pdf.com. And uh, it basically like you see it has all kinds of different um, options here. And there's other sites that are like this. Um, but I like this one because what I can do is I can take my four pictures. I can highlight them and drag them all at once into that box and it will start to upload them. All right, so once they're uploaded, my suggestion to you, obviously you'll be able to see probably the, the image, um, but like I would, when I copy my pictures over, I would like rename this as page one, page two, page three, or whatever. Um, but what's nice, if, you, if they merge over into uh, a different format, okay, a different order, you can move the order around as you see fit, okay? 
um, so that they're in order. So your test is one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way through the end in order. Uh, once you have that, click on the combined tab, and you'll see down here, bottom left, it will save that then as a JPEG. Okay, um, or no, sorry, a PDF. That JPEG to a PDF. So now that's the document that you're going to send to me. Okay, and I'm going to show you kind of how I'm going to uh, do this. So I'm just going to save this quickly to my desktop. Okay, so it's saved to my desktop, and now I can go back into like OneNote. Okay, this is how I will do each of your tests is instead of printing them off, I'll go into OneNote and I'll just drag your PDF that you sent me into there, insert it, and now I can go through and I can grade that using my inking tools here. Okay, so that is uh, what I'm going to ask you to do. Okay, and like I said, if if you send it to me and I've got five, six, seven pictures inside an email, I'm just going to email you back and say, try again. Okay, um, my suggestion, because I'm going to give you 60 minutes to do the test and uh, to get this uh, kind of figured out. Okay, so that's a, a essentially a 15 extra minutes than what the students in class have, um, and, and I think that's fair because obviously they don't have to do this. But you do not want to be up against um, a time crunch when trying to do this. Okay, so my suggestion to you is before you take your test on Thursday, that you do a like a dry run of taking some images of pictures, convert them over the PDF, make sure you can get that into one PDF for me, uh, so that when you do have to do this on Thursday, it's seamless for you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out, email me. Um, that's all I've got for you.